right, so today I'm gonna to take a look at the Ansel battery monitor. Uh, this is a Bluetooth device that you put onto your battery. It gives you uh, an app as well that you download, which will provide you with real-time stats of the vehicle battery, starting system, charging system, and will also give you alerts. It comes with everything you need. It's a simple install, so let's go ahead and walk you through that. All right, first we need to get access to the battery, so let's do that by releasing the hood. All right, there are just two wires to connect, uh, red and black, and just match the terminals appropriately. All right, once the device is secure, you can then download the app and install it. All right, once you launch the app, it'll give you a couple of prompts. Make sure you have your Bluetooth on, but the uh, connection is quite seamless. The app comes with uh, an install guide as well, showing you how to install it, as well as a firmware update. So that's nice as well, future-proof. The first test is a voltage test, which will give you feedback on the current state of the battery. And then when the engine's running, you can see where it gives you additional information on the charging. On the next tab is the crank test. In this test, above 9.6 volts is normal, below is abnormal, more details in the manual. And the final one is for charging, which will test your alternator to make sure that your battery is getting properly charged. And then the results are displayed and saved. And lastly, you have the trip tab. This will save the starting and stopping time of the vehicle and provide you with a history of up to 31 days. It also comes with a very detailed manual, very well put together, in color, uh, multi-page, goes through all the menu options and all of the details. Bluetooth 4.1 shows you all the notifications as well. Um, all in all, everything worked very well. The only thing I would say that I, I think needs improvement, the app works well, but if you wanna completely close the app, I did not find an easy way to do that. I ended up rebooting the phone, but it works uh, very well. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll leave a link and let me know what you think.